Welcome back, True Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans, to another really exciting Spider-Man PS4-related video, and back again with another reaction video to an awesome video of the behind-the-scenes motion capture of how they get the action sequences for the game. So, of course, I have been busy with my review copy of Marvel Spider-Man that was granted to me from Insomniac and Marvel Games and PlayStation Sony, so thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, and I promise I will do you guys justice when I'm able to post my review on September 4th, but that's really all I can say at this moment, other than, you know, just expect a review on that day, and then you'll hear my thoughts and impressions of it when that day comes. But other than that, I just took a break from the review copy, and I just saw that Marvel posted a cool behind-the-scenes video showing how they create action sequences for the game. And again, this is something that I really love about video games, seeing the ins and outs of the mocap, seeing how they make the game, seeing how they, you know, even craft the experience of the for the player and like how they make the models and everything and I'm not sure what it's going to show but clearly it says it's an action sequence for Spider-Man PS4 and the video it states from Marvel Entertainment go behind the action of Spider-Man PS4 only on PlayStation with some of the creative minds of the game so overall I think it's going to be like another cool behind the scenes video uh, just like what we've gotten from you know like Game Informer and D23 and all those so uh, I'm really excited to see it uh, and, uh, let's just get right into it. This is gonna be great. Okay, three, two, one, go. To make a great action sequence, you have to start with a great story sequence. Sweet. An action sequence can be fun to watch, but unless you're invested in this character and what they're trying to do, it doesn't mean much. One of the things I really like cool. about Marvel Comics is when you look at a panel, the characters really pop. You can always see the characters, awesome. you know what they're doing. When we were building out the raft sequence for our E3 Eric. demo, we actually went in and we talked with Insomniac a lot about how we could exactly position the villains so oh, we would cool. almost see like, these images that <laughs> Sweet. flash panels from the comics themselves. We wanted That's to try so and get sick. that same angle and same framework into these scenes. We don't actually do storyboards. We actually do a 3D previs. I'm talking about pre-visualization cool. in 3D. The entire file will actually look the like oh, what wow. you see in the final product, but it's all grayscale. And then the animators just do temp animations That's to insane. block out all the scenes. Block Is that Scorpion? Yep. And set up the flow of the actual combat. And once we agree upon what we're going to do, we then go to the mocap stage and shoot it. To achieve see, yes! Oh, I love the mocap stuff. The Come on. Stylized or superhero this characters. is amazing. We everything possible. Right off the bat, we looked at parkour. We looked at gymnasts. We actually got amazing things out of our so, people a lot of wonderful that's things mind blowing that they do that from blue sky thinking on a stage with a stunt person what was interesting about working so on cool. this project was that there's a lot of different characters so for example we have a flying enemy like vulture we have a giant lumbering enemy like rhino so or sweet. we have enemies with superpowers like electro so yep. we actually have to consider each of the villains as if it's its own main character so we have to think about the look the effect and even how that character moves. How do you so like cool. my new suit? Hey, it's Jocks! Oh, snap! Get it. That is... It's an exclusive club. <laughs> That's so sick! It's really rudimentary. Once That's... That has the bells and Ryan, the oh my god. And lighting and audio and effects. That's just icing the cake. We actually spend a lot of time making sure that all the surfaces look really wet. You can see at certain times when you look at the characters really closely that there's actually water dripping down their, their masks or their faces. And That's I thought that so that was really cool. important to really nail uh, the emotion we're trying to get. There's a sort of gut feeling that it hits your stomach when you have your hands on the sticks and you're playing and you're swinging around and you almost get this moment where you're just in this this state where you're just purely interacting with that world. We're like, all right, right. they made a great game. Oh, that's, that's what I think. I, I've been at, you know, since probably a couple months now and I'm really, really excited to get this out into the world and see how people react. That's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That was, okay, I gotta go back to that shot. Um, That was freaking Josh Keaton in the mocap suit. Now, is that Yuri Lowenthal? I can't tell if that's Yuri. It's his voice, but I don't know if that's uh, a stunt person or if that's Yuri in the mocap, the mocap suit. No, it's, I think it's someone else, but that's freaking Josh Keaton right there as Electro. Holy crap, that is so cool. That is awesome that he did that. Oh, I'm like fanboying out. Seeing Josh Keaton right there in the mocap suit delivering lines as Electro, that is so badass. And again, all of the work that they do with the motion capture, with the animating, with the rendering of how the visuals finalized, you know, in, in detail, it just, that looked incredible. And uh, I hope we get more stuff like this closer to launch. 
you know, uh, the fact that all the teams in Insomniac, Marvel, PlayStation, Sony make the game with so much passion and showing that with this video was fantastic. And I love more behind the scenes stuff. That's why I love the uh, D23 video that we got back in July of 2017 and even the PSX video in, tw in 2017. Uh, and all the Game Informer stuff was excellent. So I love all these behind-the-scenes videos, and that was sweet seeing Josh Keaton in the mocap suit. I can't get over that. But anyways, guys, that was my reaction to the Marvel Spider-Man action sequence breakdown video. That was insanely cool. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments section down below. What was your favorite part about it, and how hyped are you for Spider-Man? It's less than two weeks away. Next Friday it comes out. It's going to be crazy, guys. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.